6B. This is REZ 2018-02. It's EA and CC. The request is for EA and PDR. This is the Watkins Camp Rock Properties. It's located at 4391 Rocky Ford Road. Again, it has well and septic and involves 72 acres. Mr. David. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, ultimately, Pastor Jay Watkins with Redlands Baptist Church works with a group and a staff um, known as Camp Rock. And they want to take this particular piece of property and use it as an education center and a youth campground for at-risk youth in the community, uh, as well as around the region and potentially states. With that, you have uh, a site plan that shows you exactly what is there, as well as what is proposed to be there for the foreseeable future. You can see that staff and um, the applicants have worked hard to make sure this site plan uh, is in agreement. Um, right now, we've whittled down all the issues to about two. We started off with over 30 um, because staff just did not realize how big their vision was for Camp Rock. Right now, if you've not been out there, um, they have a few very nice buildings, but they're certainly about 10% of this overall site plan is actually developed. And so as a part of that, we've continued to work with them. Um, we have a good relationship communication with them about what they're proposing. Uh, and ultimately, we've, like I said, gotten it down to just a, a couple of uh, decision points. With that, um, for those of you who were at the Planning Commission, I know that you were, we detailed those points. They just re they regard buffering. Uh, and with that, the Planning Commission ultimately recommended just approval of the site plan that you have within your packet. So I don't have any other updates um, from the applicants at this time. I don't anticipate any tomorrow, but of course that's pending your comments and questions this morning. Otherwise, our um, vision and our goal was to be able to see if we could get it to a place to where it was approvable, and we think we are almost there, pending your thoughts. Um, so with that, I don't have any updates, and we'll plan to hear from their representatives tomorrow. And I believe it will be ready for consideration should you want to move forward tomorrow. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Mr. Davenport, I, I've got a question in yes, regards sir. to um, of course the Planning Commission's recommendation was for approval with no conditions. No conditions, sir. Uh, TRC's recommendation, though, was for approval with the condition the conditions, which was the buffer. Yes, sir. Can you explain that? Uh, I will. And if you look on the slide uh, before you, I hope you can see it on the screen. I know the audience may have a hard time with it from out there. But ultimately, um, the required buffers, so if this was any other zoning but planned development, on the adjacent buffers next to an adjacent neighbor, you would have a requirement of a 30 to 45 foot buffer that would have to be landscaped and fenced. And Carmela Brazel, the zoning administrator and I, we just felt like that the size of this property, the existing rural nature, that's just a little excessive. That was just excessive. So. We began to negotiate with them about what type of buffer did we want, what type did they want to provide. And ultimately where um, Ms. Braswell and I settled on was the red lines that you see on your screen are a 50-foot undisturbed buffer to the east. They've agreed to do that. We would like that buffer extended where you see those yellow lines. So those yellow lines around the exterior of the property as well as the yellow lines around that interior kind of little island there is where we asked for that buffer to be extended to. We at first asked for a 50-foot undisturbed buffer, which means no fence, no landscaping, just keep it undisturbed. Um, and they indicated they did not want to do that. They then went to all the adjacent neighbors and got letters from them that said, we don't want any buffer, we don't want any fencing. And they presented those at the Planning Commission. So I countered with, well, how about a 20-foot undisturbed buffer? Because at some point, those individuals will not be adjacent neighbors. We think Camp Rock will be there. How about that kind of future scenario? And they indicated that by that time, Camp Rock would be established. Anyone who moves in would know it was there, and it's kind of at your own risk when you buy the property. It's a small, for us, it's not a deal killer point, but we thought it was worth lifting up, especially since we felt like we already countered with so much from what we could have required. So at the end of the day, those yellow lines um, are anywhere from a 20 to a 50-foot undisturbed buffer. But the Planning Commission, after hearing that in kind of greater detail, just recommended, you know, with all the, the letters we just received, we'll just not put any type of buffer there. 
So that's what they've done is the only buffer that's on your site plan is in red, everything in yellow um, per the letters from the adjacent neighbors which you have in your packet was, was left off. Not a gigantic <coughs> issue, but enough of one that's important enough to lift up to you all for your consideration. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir.